Carl Haglin has been fighting for Seattle one neighborhood at a time for over 25 years. He builds more than just homes, he builds communities. Carl believes that everyone in Seattle has the right to a safe, affordable place to live. Here is his short story. So just give me a semi detailed description of the condition of this building before you transformed it into the beautiful apartment that now it is. It was in pretty bad condition. If you can imagine, no new roof in 30 years with significant water damage. They all needed substantial repairs to make, to make them into any sort of acceptable hab habitability. What we repaired, we replaced. Working people deserve a nice place to live. For many people in Seattle, home can look very different. A neglected building, drug dealers on the corner, violence on a daily basis. Carl believes there is a better way, and he has been leading this way for decades. Working people deserve a nice place to live. We're improving it. We're taking a dilapidated building and modernizing it, upgrading it, making it beautiful, as you can see. We do everything. Sometimes sidings, inside, flooring, cabinets. We do everything. If housing is expensive, the reason it's expensive is because you're not producing enough housing. Take a look at these three buildings. This is what I've been doing down here in central Seattle since 1992. This is typical scope and scale for the dramatic changes that my company's been creating in this neighborhood. Michelle has worked for Carl Haglund for over 12 years and has seen the incredible transformation of dilapidated buildings and dangerous neighborhoods to modern housing and safe neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah I can definitely attest to making it safer. Like I said, we, we've got a lot of the bad apples out. Um, a lot of our properties have had um, like gang uh, affiliates, like blocks to where they're just out there selling drugs. and. They're no, no longer there because we've called the police so many times on these people and just pressured the city to get these people out. And it has taken a long time, but it was, it, the crime has cleared up a lot, and I would say a lot due to companies like us in the Rainier Valley. Carl Haglin, president of Columbia Modern Living and CEO and founder of the Carl Haglin Foundation, has been a lifelong advocate for affordable housing and safe living spaces. He builds in the most challenging communities to produce clean, safe, and affordable housing for the working class, immigrants, and families just getting started. I'm Carl Heglin. I'm at the City Hall. I was here for the Public Safety Committee on Tuesday mornings at 9.30. We're here to talk about drug addiction, crime, and a catch and release program that is not working. I'm gonna speak about the tragedy of those three shooters. These people that are hopelessly trapped in their addictions. Somebody was arrested 50 times and you kept letting them go. 25 times and they let them go. The third shooter, admonished by four Superior Court judges because he kept carrying a gun. These people are trapped in their addictions. And the conversation we need to have is not about the 1%, myself, who's developing 600 units of housing, has a large in-house construction remodeling team who's been creating good workforce housing now for, I know, since 1992. That's the conversation about the 1%. It needs to be about the 1% of the 1%, the 100 people that are trapped on our streets and we're playing catch and release as though it's a, a bass fishing contest. That needs to stop and we need to help these people. If housing is expensive, the reason it's expensive is because you're not producing enough housing. And it's much more of a challenge to produce housing uh, to begin a dialogue about a very complex production management process. Carl Haglund is more than just a builder of and advocate for affordable housing. He takes action when and where he sees people in need. Recently, a homeless man stepped in to stop a violent robbery in Kenmore. When Carl heard about this story, he made sure that his local hero had a place to live. So I turn around, I see a customer pull up and he went inside. I peek my head in the door, see that there's blood. So I turn around, ran inside the store. He's about twice my size. And then I went behind the counter and I get a hold of the suspect. I was able to pin him down and I would do it again in a heartbeat. They woke us up at 3.30 in the morning and uh, told us that we still had to leave. Carl Haglin is changing the Seattle landscape at one house at a time by providing affordable, clean, and accessible housing to those communities that dearly need it most. Stephen, because your bravery, Stephanie, your bravery too. 
This is your home for six months. Thank you Completely so much. free. No, you're welcome. There are good wells in the neighborhood, so you can go ahead and get more used furniture. Thank you for watching our production on Carl Hagland, a man who has been helping the Seattle's housing market by providing clean, accessible, and affordable options to the communities who most desperately need it at this time.